Hello everyone, I'm Akhila Sultana. In this video, we're gonna know some cool facts about electricity. We use electricity every day, but most people know very little about the physical phenomena. Electricity is the most versatile energy source on the planet, but we have only depended on it for about 100 years. Electricity is a type of energy that builds up in one place or flows from one place to another. When electricity gathers in one place, it is known as static electricity. Electricity that moves from one place to another is called electric current. Static electricity was the first form of electricity discovered in 600 BC. Static electricity usually happens when you rub things together. It's why a balloon will stick to you after rubbing it against your clothes. Or why you get shocked when walking across carpet and touching something metallic. It's also the cause of lightning. As rain clouds move through the sky, they rub against the air around them. An electric current is a flow of electric charge. In electric circuits, these charges are often carried by moving electrons in a wire. It is involved in powering electrical appliances we use every day, like computers, smartphones, washing machines, flashlights, and any other common electric device. Here are a few more facts about electricity. Electricity travels at 300 million meters per second. Our brain's neurons are filled with electric charges that carry signals to our bodies. Electricity plays an important role in the way our heart functions. Muscle cells in the heart are contracted by electricity that runs through our body. Electrocardiogram or ECG machines are used in hospitals to measure the electricity flowing through a patient's heart, displaying a line that spikes with every heartbeat. Just 50 milliampere across your heart can kill you. That's equivalent to a 9 volt battery. What is a volt? It is a unit of electric force measuring the potential strength of current. The typical lightning bolt packs 100 million volts. A spark of static electricity can measure up to 3000 volts. Electric eels can produce shocks of 500 volts or more. Also, it can generate 600 watts of power. The lethal amount is over two times the power output of a regular household. Coal is the world's biggest source of energy for producing electricity. How does it work? Coal is burnt in furnaces that boils water. The resulting steam from that boiling water spins turbines that are attached to the generators or transformers. In the US alone, coal is the most widely used energy source. However, coal emits greenhouse gases that damage our ozone layer. Sustainability movements call for an end to this practice. Fossil fuels are the largest source of electricity, but wind, water and the sun can also produce it. Benjamin Franklin proved that Lightning is a form of electrical energy. He also invented the lightning rod in the 18th century to protect buildings in the event of lightning. The 19th century was the age of electricity. Electrical science rapidly grew in the early 1800s. The second half featured advances in electrical engineering. This was a time for many firsts such as the first telephone and light bulb among other things. Thomas Edison was able to create a fully functional light bulb in 1879. Earlier versions made by Warren DeLarue and Joseph Swan had the light bulb concept down, but their inventions were not suited for the practical use. 
The first ever power plant used to create electricity was opened in New York by Thomas Edison in 1882. Light bulb only used 10% of its energy to emit light. The remaining 90% of a light bulb's energy output is for heat. LED light bulbs use one sixth of the electricity conventional bulbs do. They also cost almost one by four the price of a traditional bulb and last forty times longer. Why birds sitting on a power line don't get electrocuted? If a bird sits on just one power line, it is safe. However, if the bird touches another line with a wing or a foot, it creates a circuit. causing the electricity to flow through the bird's body this results in electrocution copper is the best conductor of electricity though silver is a better conductor of electricity copper wire is more widely used this is because it has a greater capacity for electrical conductivity and mechanical strength rubber is the best insulator of electricity Take one look at your nearest cable and you would know why rubber is flexible and malleable yet keeps your wires from shorting. We'll be back with more interesting videos. Thank you for watching.